It's walking perfect. Look. Oh, that makes me so happy. Morning, it's Friday and I slept in. Oh. My bottle baby didn't make it. Darn it. All right, that's my second lamb to not make it. I think it was on its way out anyway last night. I didn't have a good feeling when I left. Did you come into your milk? They don't seem loud. Did you come in your milk? Okay, I'll check her in a sec. And I think my ewes have um, shown me some grace and not lamb. And Bethy, amazing. I'm at the point now where I kind of just want them to keep going. My ewes are so nice to me this morning. Let me sleep in. Well, I still beat the sun up though, kind of. I'm gonna grab a bottle for those guys and make sure that they've drank. It's gonna be a good day, it's Friday. So this one won't drink, so that means Mama must have come into her milk. Good mommy. Oh, that's nice. I'll try the other one now. Okay, it's not really interested either, so I'm just going to check her milk. Okay, yes, she's got milk. Okay, let me get out before you freak out. There you go. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. And, and my big head is standing a lot better this morning. Look at her. Oh my goodness, little knuckled over, but that's easy to fix. Are you feeding mom? All right, I'll try and I'll see if it's right. See how big that head is? So it's, she's taking a breath now, but oh. You're looking good. You're looking so much better. Yeah. Let's see if you're doing this. Right. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, you're feisty. Yeah. monkey. I am blown away with the progress of this lamb. So guys, don't give up when they're like that because sometimes it's just the way they were born. It's just traumatic birth. So this is the one that was stuck yesterday. And just the improvement on how it how it's not as hyper -expanded. So now if we can just get it on the mum. Good 
think she'll figure it out, but... Oh, yeah. I think this will all come together. I have faith. All right, ladies. Let's get the show on the road. I want to want to be done. Carissa just texted me and Betty had her babies. So we'll have to go see how she's doing. And she said there's one, uh, another you that lamb that had kind of a weak-ish lamb. So I just want to check, check those guys out and see Betty and see how she's doing. I wondered, she looked kind of close this morning. I had a feeling, I keep saying I have a feeling. So let's go see. Betty, they look lovely. Good girl. <laughs> and this is the other one. Oh, she's right. It doesn't look right. I don't think it's. This doesn't look right. This does not look normal. It's like a water belly. Maybe not. Here, look this side up, Mom. So she said she got 50 mils into it. So maybe. I just don't like the look of its belly. Saturday morning. Oh, I think we have a lammy. I missed out on the night check last night. Carissa did it for me. Went to friends of ours for a birthday party last night and it's the first time I've seen them since February. So that was really nice. And Carissa held the fort down here well. Oh, I've got two use trying to steal. Another single. Have your own baby. Oh, she's in labor. So she's in labor, and she had this one. Hi, buddy. All right, I'll get them moved. I just want to check on Betty and her babies and see if anyone else lamb last night. I don't think they did. 
And guess what else? My big headed lamb is not knuckled over anymore. It's walking perfect. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, now this one's, oh, this one's still not great. Hey, Mom, what's wrong with it? Something's going on, nervous system-wise. It's acting like it's kind of paralyzed. So I was able to feed this one. Um, I think I got... I think I got about a hundred mils into what are you a her or him into her but she's uh, she still can't get up I'm kind of trying to hold her up but her legs are kind of I don't know they're kind of they're not crooked there's just there's something off so I'm hoping, um, because if it is neurological, which I don't know if it is, like there's no tremors or anything, but something's pinched. Anyway, I gave her some thiamine. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt. I don't know. It doesn't look right. So we will wait and we will see. Hi, Betty. Oh, you're so sweet. Hello. How's your bike going? Oh, look how fuzzy, look how fuzzy headed that one is. You're cute. Hi. Can you see me? I think so. I think that you is delivering. She's pushing. I don't see feet. Oh, I don't know, I don't see a foot. I'm gonna have to run in there. I had to move her into the lambing pen here. I'm standing back because she's looking at? I'm like, she isn't sure what she thinks of this lamb yet, because it was a big pull. So she she popped out the head first only, and when the head comes out no legs, bad news. Uh, so I just brought her down here and put her in that pen, and uh, I had to I had to kind of dig for the leg. They were right there, but they were curled in. So you have to kind of get a finger in behind their, I don't know, knee, elbow, knee, and loop it forward without it doing any damage to her lining, right? So uh, I usually like to, if there's room, I like to get my hand in and under the hoof. I'm gonna show you, under the hoof, and kind of let my hand be in between her hoof and her lining so we don't rupture anything or scratch anything. And then you kind of curl it up and forward so it so basically if this is the lambs if this is the lambs uh, hoof you want to do this so it's like that and then you can pull it out uh, but when it's like this and you just you just grab behind the knee and let it go like that it can scratch the use in inside so oh she's looking it <gasps> good girl Oh, that's the worst feeling, like, lambing for me, uh, watching them lamb doesn't really stress me out, waiting for the lamb doesn't really stress me out, it just kind of like, I'm impatient, so I just want it to happen, but waiting for a you to accept her lamb is torture, because you just never know, especially if you had to help her lamb it, or if it was a traumatic birth, because some ewes are just, they just look at it and associate pain, 
to, or they associate trauma to the lamb, and then they're like, nope, want nothing to do with you. So, so far, knock on wood, in this group, we haven't had a lot of that. We've had some lactation issues, but we haven't had the um, I hate my lamb issues, which is huge for me because that makes me want to cry. Like the frustration on that makes me want to cry. So this makes me happy. It's one of those things, I can't not, I can't leave the lamb when I know it, that, that you only have seconds to pull out that lamb when just the head comes out because that's exactly what happened to that big headed you yesterday, two days ago. So if I wasn't here, if I was even five minutes longer with that lamb, it would have died because the head just swells up and they suffocate. So it's one of those things you do have to assist. And then when you assist, then it's a big pull and the you is mad. So then they don't like the lamb. So it's kind of a, you just got to do it and take your chances. But she was like, she's looking at it. She's licking it now. She's just camera shy. I want to let these ewes and lambs out that I tagged yesterday, put them in the big pen. I just want to check on that lamb again that, uh, that I had to feed this morning, see how it's doing. Hi guys. Here's the one from this morning. Hey baby. I'd like to see you get up. So I went to do this yesterday and baby brain, I forgot. I'm gonna set up my creep area now. Just in this front little part for all those lambs so they can start eating some pellets, drink some water out of a pail, and just become a little more independent, not as reliable on mum. And it's amazing, it's only been about, oh, 12 days. Uh, I like to get them on between 10 days and 14 days. Hi, buddy. I find it just helps. It helps them transition onto creep quicker and the gains are better and yeah so they're just gonna get their own custom-made pellet uh, I'll put up some gates with one gate that they can get into they can squeeze into it but mom can't so that's what you'll see right now
for a drink. I'm gonna go for a drink. Okay. Let's go get a drink. There you go. Go get your drink. I'll be back to grab you. Mommy's waiting. <laughs> so we've been putting putting him in here just to get a drink on his own and then I'll just put him back with mom when he's done. We have a little system. Easier than a bottle. I'm pretty sure I saw a lamb. Yes, I did. Hello. Who had you? Where's your mummy? Is that your mummy? Hmm? <laughs> okay, we'll move these guys. Oh my goodness, buddy. Are you done? You know what? I'm gonna maybe take you off because I don't want you to get a belly ache. Gorging. Oh, it's big and heavy. Okay, let's go see mom. Let's go see mom. Let's go see mom. Go see your mom. Oh my god, she is crazy. <laughs> Think the mom likes her baby or what? I would say. Well, it's bright and early. The birds are singing. The birds are louder in here than outside, if you can believe that. <laughs> it's Sunday, guys. Let's go see if there's lambs. Nothing, but it is a quiet morning in here. Good morning, Jenny. Why do you keep looking at me? You're so cute. 